Hello and welcome again. This is another unboxing and a demonstration. Now you may be asking why have I got my tablets in front of me. Okay, today's plan is to basically show you how you can calm your children down maybe in your car and use these tablets to use as a sort of uh, TV uh, and I'll demonstrate to you how you sort of how I'm going to do this. First of all, you need a tool that can hold the screen in place. Now I've got a tablet here, that, an old one, and I've got another Android tablet here. So this is the plan, I'm going to use these, or one of these, to put on my car. And for this, what I'm going to need is a holder. And this is the unboxing of the holder. So here you go. It comes in three parts. The reason I've got this particular one, because it's got a nice long arm to move about. And that does interest me a lot, in a way. So, first of all, the base of it, the way it holds, is literally you put it into the headrest of the two things, put it in, put it in, and locks in place. So that's one job done. The next bit is basically the arm that moves around here. You can tighten it, loosen it, and this is the part that holds the tablet. Now, I do have issues with these sort of uh, uh, cheap holders. Um, the reason is, I think this one, I think was just under £10 from Amazon again. Um, quick delivery came through very quickly within one day. Um, if you need to know where I got it from, I'll show you the list. The main issue that I have with any of this product is this area here. And I can assure you of one thing. If anything was to go, this would be the only thing that would break, crack, or this part will break. Okay, that's the only bit I found with any of my stuff that I bought that has that sort of same mounting uh, arrangement. So, what you need to do is undo this, put the little ball thing inside, actually, my mistake, put this in there first, put the inside here, so you sort of locks in place, and then you literally just tighten this nice and firm. Do not over tighten it or you end up breaking it. Okay, the next part is, I was hoping this could be extended a bit more, like a, a bit like this, maybe extendable, um, but you know, this is the best I could buy at the time. If this was the headrest here, you click onto the headrest and you've got the eye and you're facing that way of course, uh, the child may be sitting on the back seat there and you can have this moving any way you want, in an angle that you want it, or you could also have it like this, angle that you want it. Alright, that's the first bit done. Now, will it hold my tablets that I've got here? We'll start with the iPad because that's the most commonly probably used one and I'll show you the technique, if it, this works, I'll show you the technique of how I can get this to connect for example Amazon Prime or Netflix. Now I was hoping that this will fit nicely snug. Alright, okay that's the first mistake thing that I've noticed there. So how do I keep this up? It looks like it's doing a job. Good enough. I think so it does a job. So if I, I'll, I'll show you uh, the video when I put it onto the car itself. But I think it's doing a good job of holding it in place. Now also what worries me is this spring-loaded bit here because I don't know how strong that will be holding it in place. I wish there was a tightening factor in there which can tighten it into place. That would be quite good. So I'm a bit worried about that bit but we'll show on the demonstration how it works later. So the tablet is of course much heavier than the Samsung one I think. Um, it's got the case on of course. So I would say it's holding that quite fine. You need to make sure you adjust it right and you need to make sure you tighten it probably a bit more. And there you go. So that's the first test done. That sort of leaves me with the fact that how am I going to get this connected to my car? First of all, what you're going to need is a car that has a Bluetooth connectivity. So what I've done is, I'll, 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 that's how I'll show it to you. What I've done is I put this on my car, I connect this to my Bluetooth device in the car or any of the Android tablets. So you can use any tablets you like and after that I've connected that, I also make sure, uh, normally on my back of my car there is also a USB connection, so I'll just connect the power lead as well. If you don't need to if you don't have, if you don't have it, but each of the battery life will last a bit longer uh, and they can probably watch it on a long journey. That's the plan when I do my long journeys with my family, it keeps them quiet at the back. The, the technical part next is basically, you tether, if you've got a good internet connection, you tether your from your phone, so I've got my phone here, Wi-Fi from there to your device 
and then connect to any apps that you want YouTube it could be YouTube or Netflix and you literally watch it through that mean and the sound you can have two ways you can either have the sound coming from the tablet as normally does or I prefer it to have it in the car so they can all hear it from all direction which is quite good and that's what I'm going to show you uh, uh, shortly of how I do that so tethering bit is the important bit you literally go to any uh, your device you go to the top usually on the Android so I've got Android once so I'm assuming Apple might have the same features um, you go right to the top and you find there's something called uh, a mobile hotspot you click on that activate there there should be a password set for it so when you do the same search on there for Wi-Fi set your Android or your Apple product may come up, come up and you literally connect to it and you've got the connectivity sorted out with internet enabled devices with Bluetooth sound coming from your car. Um, that's the plan. So just to show you, can I hold another tablet as well? So if I just take this out from here, and how easy is it to take it off as well? So I'll just be very careful and just sort of slide it off. Job done. Just to the side. Same thing. Just got to be careful where the buttons are. Sometimes you don't want to be. So this is the Asus one that I've got. I think it was Samsung, sorry. Uh, there we go. And it's in there. It's a bit lighter, so it holds it much better. And it's, it's quite nice, actually. It's thinner. But you might have a newer one of the uh, Apple uh, product as well. So you'll hold either of those. So as I said, the demonstration to show you if you can you hold it. Next bit I'm going to show you is, can you hold it in the car? All right. We'll go from there. Take this off. Oh, it's got quite a bit of punch to that. I'll put this back in here, actually, as well. And put this away and we'll demonstrate in the car right, so connecting this up this so they'll be sitting on their seats here and I want to make sure I get the angle right sort of like that so everyone can have access to it you see what I mean so it's a bit like this so let's get this on there first so what I'll do I'll put this in there first push this as much as I can and it's in now push this notice at the bottom I've got the little knob that tightens it it's sort of in the right place and I think it's probably beneficial to have it down because that will hold the weight of on the chair as well so now we've got it in place and the rest is basically see if you hold the eye tablet so I'm literally just going there and there we go the next thing to do is turn this on Flick it through. Let's just put this on there. So this is another old device of our tablets that we're sort of reusing. So we're reusing this device to make sure you know we get a proper use out of it. So I'm basically connecting while well, starting the system up first, which is taking a while. Okay, this time we're trying with the Android device to see if it makes any difference. I just could not get the Bluetooth to work properly with the car. I mean it was connecting and everything but you can't get the sound out. I think there's something I've got to accept on the tablet to make it work. But anyway, so going forward now, um, I'm going to show how you connect the Wi-Fi. First of all the Bluetooth. So um, scroll down from the top, settings. As usual you just you find the Bluetooth um, and search for it. On. It's connecting now on the other device, so hopefully. So it's giving me a number up here. So I'm I'm searching from the car for this Bluetooth device and now it should be connected. Now the Wi-Fi situation, same again, go back to Wi-Fi, search for Android device, put the password on. Now it's connecting to my Android device, I don't know if you can see on there. So now it's connected to my Android device, I'll just zoom in. Alright, so now that it's connected, we're going to go to YouTube. 
I just got a kids YouTube baby. So I can control it from the tablet here if I want to. So I'm just pressing the button here to control it. And the sound is coming from all around the car. And there you go. So basically all I have to do is pair up the Bluetooth, turn it on properly, and now I've got TV in the car. I'm sorry, but so, I didn't mean to run away from you. can move it to any direction you want. We have in the middle. Um, I wish I could put it higher up. That would be quite nice for everyone to see from the back as well. But for now, this will have to do the job. I promise. Angle it to it as you like. So it's running from my phone, tethered from my phone, to my device here. And you can so swivel it as you like or wherever you want. I am sorry about the sound quality due to the wind. So this basically concludes my video showing you how I can connect my phone to the tablet with the arm uh, um, the holder itself and giving you access to all sorts of media for your children in the car also as you can see it's got the charger that's connected to the usb uh, connection or in one of the uh, usb connection in the car and that basically charges the tablet as well at the same time so hopefully you enjoy this and gives you some idea of how to entertain your children in the car thank you for watching take care